Hello dear students, today we are going to do an activity to understand the concept of symmetry in shapes in mathematics and uh, we will be visualizing the line of symmetry if any and we will be thinking and exploring whether we can have more lines of symmetry in a shape or not. So first of all, we will be working on a rectangular sheet of paper and you can see that boundary of this sheet is a rectangle. So now can you fold this rectangular sheet of paper into two parts which overlap each other and completely covers each other? Let us try. Yes, we can see that a rectangle can be folded into two parts which are exactly replica of each other. And now on the crease, I am going to draw a line. Now you see this line is dividing this rectangular shape into two equal halves. So this line is called the line of symmetry. Can you divide this rectangle into two equal parts in some other way? Let us try that. Yes, we can do this. Now you see this is another crease which is dividing this rectangle into two parts which are replica of each other. Observe carefully. See, we are able to get two parts of this rectangular shape exactly overlapping each other. So this is the second line of symmetry. So we see that in a shape we can have more than one lines of symmetry. So in this rectangle we have got two lines of symmetry. Let us take now another shape. So here I have with me a squared paper. Let us see how many lines of symmetry are there in a square? Now you see that we are able to, able to fold this piece into two equal halves. And here is the line on the crease. This is one line of symmetry. Let me see if we can have another line of symmetry. Observe carefully. Yes, we have second line of symmetry. And here interestingly you will see if we fold this squared paper along the diagonal we are able to get another line of symmetry. You can try this. When you fold this squared sheet along the diagonal, you get another line of symmetry. So this is number 3. And there are two diagonals. So we can try folding along the second diagonal and we see that we are able to get another line of symmetry. So in a square we have four lines of symmetry. So 
So let us visualize this again. This is first line of symmetry. This is second line of symmetry. This is the third line of symmetry. And this one is the fourth line of symmetry. So in a square we have four lines of symmetry. Let us now take an equilateral triangle. Now you tell me how many lines of symmetry are possible in an equilateral triangle. Yes, this is one. If we start from the next vertex, so there are three vertices. Okay, so we have got the second line of symmetry. So there are three ways in which we can divide this triangle into two equal parts. So in a triangle, you can see there are three lines of symmetry. Just watch it again. One. Two and three. Right? So let us now take an isosceles triangle. And you have to see the difference between the two. Here in an isosceles triangle, if you see and you try to fold this triangle into two parts, you will see. There is on only one way in which we can divide it into two equal parts. Now you see here, if I label it as triangle ABC and here AB and AC are equal sides, then I can have one line of symmetry only. And this is the line of symmetry in an isosceles triangle. So there is one line of symmetry in an isosceles triangle. And there are three lines of symmetry in an equilateral triangle. Now interestingly what we are going to do is we will be observing this circle. Now this is a circular cutout. You see the boundary is a circle. How many lines of symmetry are possible in a circle? Let us try to do that. I am trying to fold it into two equal parts. Which are replicas of each other. One way. Then. I can do it like this. Two lines of symmetry. Three lines of symmetry. Four lines of symmetry. So we observe that we can fold the circle into two equal parts in infinite number of ways. Right. So how many lines of symmetry are there in a circle? So it will be infinite. So we have infinite lines of symmetry in a circle. So I am recalling the definition. You can write it down. What is a line of symmetry? A line which splits a shape into two parts such that the two parts completely overlap each other means they are exact replica of each other is called a line of symmetry and such shapes are called symmetrical. So you can see that here today we have done there are two lines of symmetry in a rectangle. So there are four lines of symmetry in a square. In an equilateral triangle there are three lines of symmetry. In an isosceles triangle there are two lines of symmetry and in a circle 
we can have infinite lines of symmetry. I hope the concept of lines of symmetry and what is a line of symmetry and when do we say the shapes are symmetrical is clear to you.